For the first time since Darrell Reavers, the Jets have a lockdown island at corner. Sauce Gardner was once again terrific against the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday. While he was his usual self in man coverage, it was his feeling zone that really shone. So let's take a look at the All-22, and I'll show you why Sauce has been the best rookie through the first four weeks of the season. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet, and it feels like almost a weekly occurrence at this point, but today we're going to break down the Sauce Gardner film. You can see the numbers here on the screen against Pittsburgh on Sunday. He was targeted seven times, so he was thrown at, but he allowed only two receptions and nine total yards, and that is a phenomenal effort, and that is why Robert Sulla and Joe Douglas took him at number four overall. So let's get into this film now. We're going to focus heavily on Source in zone coverage, and on this first rep, he's in cover four, and Source is responsible for the outside quarter on the left-hand side of the Jets' formation. So what he's going to do off the snap is get in his back pedal. He's going to have his butt to the sideline. He's in cover four position. Now, right now, this is where Source is put into a bind because he has to read the entire concept, not just the player directly opposite him. If the number two receiver, the slot to the inside, runs vertically, the safety has to carry him. So what that means is Source would then lock man-to-man -to, -man to his outside boundary receiver. But as we let this roll, this is why eyes and vision are so important because if he doesn't, in this instance he doesn't, he has to pass on the deep post, which he does a phenomenal job right now. You can see him pass him off, eyes to the quarterback, he jumps this route, the out route to the outside, gets in perfect position, and almost takes the football away. It doesn't get any better than this. I'll let it flow at full speed so you get a good idea of what this looks like. But Source Gardner does a nice job in his transition, great eyes, understanding the concept, and he owns that position. That isn't pass interference. That's him understanding where he needs to be. But this is the money part of this route for Source. The understanding and the vision. Make sure he knows the concept the Steelers are running. Pass off the deep post. You can see him with that left hand. Just pass him off to the safety on the inside. Good communication, good feel. And then he breaks really quickly. Look how well he sticks that right leg in the ground. He gets north-south downhill in a perfect position. As I said, he owns this spot. He beats the wide receiver to the spot of the ball. And then he almost makes the interception, but it just travels out of bounds. A fantastic rep from Source Gardner in cover four. Now we're going to shift our attention to what was possibly the biggest play and the biggest drive of the day for the New York Jets. At this stage, they're down three, the Steelers are driving into plus territory, and the Jets are desperate for a takeaway or a defensive stop and enter Source Gardner. He's in zone coverage again, left-hand side of the Jets formation. That's where he is utilized every single play. And you can see, pre-snap here, the Jets are showing cover one, cover three, single high safety. They're going to rotate just before the snap to a cover two, cover six type shell. So Source Gardner's at the bottom of your screen, and he's going to be responsible for this bunch. Now off the snap, you can see that first receiver pushes vertically. Now Source Gardner is looking out for the other two defenders in his zone. This is an example of manipulating a quarterback. I'm going to let it play at full speed so you get an idea of the feel and what happens in the play. Source Gardner down the bottom. You can just see the patience and how he almost eggs Kenny Pickett into throwing this. And that's what we're really going to focus on. He dictates where this football goes. So off the snap, release the receiver vertically. Right now, you've got a two-on-two -two for the Jets on the left-hand side with Michael Carter and Source Gardner. You can see his eyes are in the backfield as they always are in zone coverage. He does a phenomenal job of this. Kenny Pickett gets flushed from the pocket and starts to roll right. Source Gardner knows that means he's now in the game. He doesn't automatically run and close down the flat defender. You know why? Because he wants Kenny Pickett to throw the football here. He waits. You can tell he knows where the football's going. He opens up his body position. Look at his, his body at the left-hand side of your screen here. He opens up. He's ready to close. He waits till he throws it. He baits him into it, and Michael Carter gets the interception. Watch it through at full speed and just focus solely on Source here. Gets nice depth in his coverage, understands his responsibility, and he wants him to throw it. He wants him to close, get to the football, make a play, and it's an interception for the New York Jets, and it ends up winning them the game. But Source Gardner is so intelligent because he makes Kenny Pickett throw this football. He wants him to throw it to Fry and move in the flat. He does exactly that. Source utilizes that 6'3", 6'4", length, and that is an enormous play for Gang Green. But I don't want you to forget that Source Gardner is elite and has been elite in man coverage as well. He's allowed just four receptions this season on 25 targets in man coverage, according to PFF. Bottom of his screen here, he's almost showing like this is going to be a zone look. But just before the snap, you can see him snap those hips and he's now man-to-man, -man, locked in on George Pickens, who had a big play last week. 
We're going to let this thing roll. Just look at his ability to stay tight in the hip pocket, to get his head around to the football, and then to break it up with that inside arm. Source Garden does a phenomenal job here, staying tight. He's got that deep 4-3 speed. We saw it at the combine. He turns to the inside here. That's probably something he might want back. He ends up face guarding, but he does a phenomenal job to still locate and track the football. And you can see him reach that arm up and break it up. He's in an ideal position just as the ball is up in the air at the catch point. And that's what we've seen from Source Gardner all year long. You can really see it from this back angle. As the quarterback lets go of the football, Source is in a good position. But look at his head. Yes, he's face guarding. That's a bit of a risk in the NFL right now. But you can see his eyes are peeking back towards the football. He locates it. He disengages. He gets that arm right in between. And you can see him just stick it up and break up the ball so Pickens can't get it. A phenomenal job with the awareness. You're not going to get called for a flag if you put that arm up and you have your eyes back to the football. Does a phenomenal job, is in a great position, and once again, it's another huge play for Source Gardner and the New York Jets. And that's going to conclude our Source Gardner mini review. The point of this is to emphasize how good the feel is in zone coverage. Everyone talks about Source in man, but coming into the draft, he was known as the best zone corner. You really got a great feel for that cerebral aspect of the game. He's playing well, not just for a rookie, but he's playing at a near elite level in terms of NFL cornerbacks.